Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention for a moment, please? Hello? Is anyone listening out there? Now, ladies and gentlemen, if you would stand as Miss Auburn 1985, Julie Stevens, leads us in our national anthem.
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is it, the 2009 Miss Michigan Scholarship Pageant. Starring Miss Michigan Ashley Barrissey and 28 representatives from all around our state. They're competing for the Miss Michigan crown and the opportunity to represent Michigan in the 2010 Miss America pageant in Las Vegas, Nevada. So here we go. Please welcome to the stage our 28 contestants flying for the Miss Michigan crown. Who will it be? Please welcome our 28 Miss Contestants. Contestant number one, Miss St. Clair Shores, Christina Bruce. Contestant number two, Miss Ludington area, Haley Schrader. Contestant number three, Miss Cask St. Joe, Kaylee Hass. Contestant number four, Miss Allegan County, Kaylee Arts. Contestant number five, Miss Heart of Michigan, Katie LaRoche. Contestant number six, Miss Shoreline, Amber Rose Hayward. Contestant number seven, Miss Capital City, Alicia Jarosz. Contestant number eight, Miss Spirit of the State, Brooke Bukema. Contestant number nine, Miss Washtenaw County, Stephanie Frog. Contestant number ten, Miss West Michigan, Kelsey Dufendahl. Contestant number eleven, Miss Auburn Midland, Cameron Learman. Contestant number twelve, Miss Danish Festival, Warren Gilford. Contestant number 13, Miss Jackson County, Hillary Tompkins. Contestant number 14, Miss Kalamazoo County, Nicole Smith. Contestant number 15, Miss Lawrence Tech, Andrea Fraley. Contestant number 16, Miss Lighthouse Coast, Missy Brown. Contestant number 17, Miss Wayne County, Nicole Blasen. Contestant number 18, Miss Lake Huron Shores, Teresa Crowley. Contestant number 19, Miss Greater Grand Rapids, Rebecca Ransom. Contestant number 20, Miss River Raisin Festival, Nikesha Alicott. Contestant number 21, Miss Saginaw County, Alyssa Bedford. Contestant number 22, Miss Sunrise Side, Caitlin Lake. Contestant number 23, Miss Blue Lakes, Melissa Cousineau. Contestant number 24, Miss Tip of the Mint, Jill Roster. Contestant number 25, Miss Bay County, Ashley Nicole LaForest. Contestant number 26, Miss Southwest Michigan, Megan Goodenough. Contestant number 27, Miss Monroe County, Elizabeth Ann Wurtenberg. Contestant number 28, Miss Oakland County, Shyla Clark. Miss Michigan 2008, Ashley Barrissey.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, please, a very warm welcome for this evening's MC, Miss Michigan 1986. Here she is, Kelly Garbernito. Thank you. Good evening. What do you think? They're gorgeous, they're talented, incredibly intelligent, and one of these young women will be a your Miss Michigan 2009! All right, let them see all the little thingy-mabobs you brought. Oh, look, that's all for you! Well, for those of you who have been with us the last three nights, we have had one amazing week here at the Froenthal in Muskegon. Exhausting, yes. Incredibly inspiring, also. Thank you, ladies. It's been a joy. Before we continue, let's recap what has happened in the last few nights. We have presented three preliminary awards, swimsuit, talent, and evening gown, and I didn't win a darn one. <laughs> so there. <laughs> Wednesday night's Kirsten Haglin Swimsuit Award winner and a $250 scholarship sponsored by Michigan's local EDs is Miss Monroe County, Elizabeth Ann Rittenberger. Wednesday night's preliminary evening gown award winner and a $250 scholarship sponsored by John and Lindy McKendry, Warner Norcross, and Judd LLC, Miss Blue Lakes, Melissa Cusano. <laughs> Wednesday night preliminary talent award winner and a $500 scholarship sponsored by Eagle Alloy, Miss Spirit of the State, Brooke. Yuzma. Thursday night's Kirsten Haglin Swimsuit Award winner and a $250 scholarship, again sponsored by Michigan's local EDs, went to Miss Auburn Midland, Cameron Learman. Thursday night's Preliminary Evening Gown Award winner and a $250 scholarship, again sponsored by John and Linda McKendry, Warner Norcross and Judd, Miss Capital City, Alicia Gross. And Thursday night's Preliminary Talent Award winner and a $500 scholarship, sponsored by John and Kathy Workman, Miss Wayne County, Nicole Blassett. See what you miss when you miss Wednesday and Thursday night. It was so exciting. And now, the moment we've been waiting for. Again, you've done an amazing job. And parents, you should be so proud of these young women. Oh, I don't know why I'm crying. It's the hormones. I don't know. Or maybe it's because any of them could be my daughter. Yeah, I am that old. <laughs> Auditors, are you ready? I am. I, they weren't even born when I competed. Scary thought. Oh, I can't. Oh, thank you. All right. Good luck. Contestant number 20, Ribbon Raver Raisin Festival, Makisha Alcock. Contestant number 28, Oakland County, Shyla Klein. Contestant number 10, West Michigan, Kelsey Dufendock. Contestant number 17, Ms. Wayne County, Nicole Blasick. Contestant number seven, Miss Capital City, Alicia Jaros. <laughs> 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 
Contestant number 27, Miss Monroe County, Elizabeth Ann Wurtenberger. Contestant number 16, Miss Lighthouse Coast, Missy Brown. All right, we have three more. Contestant number eight, Miss Spirit of the State, Brooke Yukima. Contestant number 23, Miss Blue Lakes, Melissa Cousineau. Contestant number five, Miss Heart of Michigan, Katie LaRoche. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are your top ten. Congratulations, ladies. And off they go. And believe me, when they hit that curtain, they aren't glamorous anymore. It's like this. It's hilarious during the opening number. I saw more of this. Those dresses needed some straps, Steve. I know you weren't thinking that, but man. I don't have anything that can fall out, so I never had to worry about those darn... Those darn gowns. Hey, how do you like this little number? All right, the only reason I have a new evening gown this year, you guys know me, I come back in the same stuff every year. It's like, man, could she spend some money on some gowns? I had a chance to MC one of the preliminary nights at Miss America. And uh, my, thank you. My husband gave me a, a wonderful birthday present. He said, go get yourself a gown for heaven's sakes. So I walked into Cray Chic and they kept saying, try that red one on. No, I'm a redhead, I don't do red. So I did the blue, the green, the black, the purple. No, I don't do red. I tried it on and said, Darn, I should have worn red years ago. <laughs> and then I'm standing there, and then I had this little lady from the Ukraine, and she's, oh yeah, I'm doing, doing your ham. And she goes, stand up straight and suck it in. I said, I am. <laughs> so they said, to take away from the little pouch here, it's my five kid belly, uh, they cut it off into a mini skirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But the bad part is if I stand still, you can't tell. So the entire evening, I'm going to be doing this. And now for swimsuit. We're going to be having 20% of our total score. Or maybe I could just clip it up here or something. Hey, uh, can I use your earring? Come here. <laughs> yeah, clip it on. All right. Oh, and I, uh, I do have to tell you, as we all know, Kirsten Haglund's rise to fame, this stellar rise to fame in the Miss America program is not all that typical. You see, she, at, at 17, she wins her first local. At 18, she wins the state. And at 19, she wins Miss America. Isn't that amazing? All right, so if you've been coming for the last two years, you saw that happen. Well, that's not all that typical. That was more like lightning striking. But if you know Kirsten, you also know she's one in a million, too. Yes, she is. A heart of gold. And God has a mission for that young woman. Anyway, the reason I bring that up, so many of us came back more than once, and it was a very good thing. You see, I came here when I was 18 years old, 27 years ago. Don't, don't start tabulating. Don't even think about it. He's like, no shit. <laughs> wow. I know, it's spackle. I have to wait till it dries and I sand it off and then I powder. Yeah, it works great. It takes about an hour though. You can get it at Home Depot, it's fine. Do you like how I went pirate today? I only have one earring. Does that mean anything? I don't know. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, I wanted to tell you that I came here when I was 18 years old and um, the gal that won that year was a 23-year-old Christian missionary from Africa. I, on the other hand, was a drunken freshman from Michigan State. <laughs> Good 
go green. Uh, yeah, and it's a true story. I'm telling the gals back there, I always practice what I'm going to say on the girls, and if they laugh, I use it. So I'm telling them back there, I said, you guys, it's true. I actually thought in interview it was a good thing to tell the judges that I was the upside-down beer bong champion of Wilson Hall. <laughs> I, I told them, I thought that was so, I really, honest to God, I told the judges that. It's a, it's a wonder I made top ten that year. <laughs> no, they probably are giving me scholarships to the rehab program, I know. So, <laughs> all right. I do have some thank yous, though. I got to quickly say, what do you think of that entree act? Was that the coolest light show and special effects you have ever seen here at the Proenthal? Amazing. Mark. Ken, Bill, Dan, our lighting people, there is nobody better than the people at the Froenthal. Our lighting crew, our backstage crew, our tech crew, you guys are the ones who show up at 6.30 this morning and none of us were looking real pretty with a donut and a big coffee and they're the ones who leave at midnight when you guys are partying. So you know what, they need a huge round of applause. They are amazing people to work with. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And it is quite a long week for all of us here, especially our tech people. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, on to a more serious note, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you a, a very good friend of mine, a Miss Michigan contestant who competed from 1988 to 1991. She was first runner-up every single time. I need to make her a t-shirt. <laughs> For those that don't get it, just look up the website. I, the, uh, you, you that laughed can explain. <laughs> She competed, and um, every time she competed, she was a first runner-up. And every single time, she was also the talent winner. She has an amazing voice, and as you can see, she certainly hasn't lost it. Please welcome back to the stage, Julie Fitzpatrick. Reflections of my life, all the sadness, all the pain, visions of yesterday, how fast they slip away. And though my dreams have come and gone, with one wish I can say. Self, please don't turn away. I'm searching for the innocence I've lost along the way. Come join me in my fantasy. Step out of space and time. There's only one thing left to do. So
You guys all giving her tens? They were giving me negatives the other day. <laughs> guys. Because of our great partnership with Dr. Pe Pepper and Snapple, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you John Hurst, along with Angela Corsi, Gina Vallo, and Ashley Barrissey. You. You're welcome. You will be. Am I live? I'm you live. are live. We've got props. We've got props <laughs> saying, wow, we love the energy in here. Fantastic. I was told I couldn't do this, but I'm going to do it anywhere. Can I get a Dr. Pepper Rocks? <laughs> All right. All right. We'll, we'll do it on three. Yeah. One, two, three. Dr. Pepper Rocks. Much They better. do rock. They do rock. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, this is... Uh, a fantastic partnership for us at Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. Uh, these three young ladies, along with Kirsten, have worked with us over the last three years, and um, we're going to share a little money today. So um, we are entering our third year. Uh, coming off this year with Ashley, it's been amazing. She's no secret, she's wonderful. Uh, wonderful to work with. Yes. Her parents are a little crazy. <laughs> Kevin and Janet, where, oh, there they are. He can almost hit me. I'm, I'm kidding. Okay, they're great. Fantastic. Um, entering our third year, this is a no-brainer for us. Uh, we look forward to this be, to be a long-term... Um, oh, here she is. Everyone Go welcome stay. Miss America 2000. <laughs> I'm glad she's here. And, and i got to be short, but i got it real quick. Our first year uh, as a sponsor, uh, we entered into that agreement uh, with Kirsten. Um, everyone knows what happened. We look like marketing geniuses, so it was, it was phenomenal. But uh, we're going to do another year, and we're going to start with... Da -da 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 -da. Yes, the outside one. Oh, you guys would, could never be Carol Merrill's. the Merrill's. outside. There you go. We're going to start with $10,000 <laughs> for the uh, Miss Michigan pageant. And then additionally, what we did this year for the first time, we're going to continue to do this because it really makes a lot of sense, is uh, we did a charity donation with Ashley, and uh, Ashley describes a charity as the charity found her, or your platform found you, you didn't find your platform. And uh, with her, she raised $10,224 wow. for, wow. for ACS Making Strides, which is fantastic. She did a lot of sampling of Snapple for us over the last year, but it worked out really, really good. So uh, this is a great, uh, great partnership. And I want to thank two people real quick. Got my cheat sheet. Alan Carson. Uh, Alan takes all of our photos with the young ladies with our products, and he, he does it in good fashion. And most importantly, she's really my queen, Shelly Taylor. 
Shelly is uh, Shelly has a can-do attitude. Uh, we love her, and she's got our blessing for as many years as she needs us. So wow. thank you very much. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. John Hurst, a big round of applause for one more time, Dr. Pepper Rocks. Yeah. Kelly, before you go on, uh -oh. first of all, I apologize for my voice. I'm getting over laryngitis. This is much better than two days ago. But John, um, first of all, I want to thank you for your support to the Miss Michigan program. Um, we truly appreciate it from the bottom of our hearts. And I want to share with all of you that um, this is more than just a check to me, John, that when my mom was diagnosed with breast cancer, she was diagnosed at age 43, had an aunt that was diagnosed previously at age 43, and a cousin diagnosed at 43. Her cousin was diagnosed a few short years before her with the same form of breast cancer and passed away from the disease. And within those few short years, programs like Making Strides Against, Against Breast Cancer and the research dollars that have been raised truly created a treatment that saved my mom's life. And and this check that you are giving us will save lives, John. Thank you. And on behalf of the Miss Michigan Board of Directors and Shelly Taylor, I want to present you with this, this plaque of appreciation. We really appreciate your support. Thanks, John. Thank you. Wow. Aren't they wonderful, Vanna Whites? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I love how they're color coordinated. They all have the diamond thing here. It's great. Oh my goodness. So if anyone ever says to you that they think the Miss America pageant is just a beauty pageant, you can see why we all believe so strongly in this program. So let's find out what's happening tonight in the competition. Earlier in the week, each contestant met with the judges for a private interview. The score for the interview was 25% and was used by the auditors for determining tonight's finalists. The judges convened last night. All scores from the preliminary nights were removed. One at a time, the judges were given the top 10 names. Now listen close. The judges had one minute to silently review their notes regarding that finalist. Each judge scored the finalist on a 1 to 10 scale. All scores are tabulated and multiplied times the factor of 30%. This score replaces the interview and is viewed as a composite score. So that 30% is where we begin tonight. And there is the edge of the stage right there that I couldn't see. But first, we have a dire warning from MAO. All the men, stand please. Men, please stand. If you don't know if you should stand, we don't have enough time to go over this. But you can see me after the show and we can talk. Okay, now put your right hand up. Mr. Barracy, wrong hand. Oh no, that's the right hand, okay. I want you to repeat after me, the Miss America pageant is not a beauty pageant. It is an educational scholarship organization. Yes, say very good. And sit down. That's right. And now, Gentlemen, that we have cleared that up. I'm sure there will be none of you saying things like, wow, would you look at the IQ on her? <laughs> I'm telling you, Biff, that girl's got a killer set of diplomas. <laughs> so the question you must ponder tonight, is an A really better than a D? I'll let you decide, Mr. Barracy. <laughs> okay, now I gotta go backwards. <laughs> what? Now we're moving ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, here to introduce our contestants in lifestyle in fitness is our very own wonderful Miss Michigan, Ashley Barracy. <laughs> 
Kelly, thanks for picking on my dad. That's paybacks for all the years he's picked on me. I'm an only child, so he acts like my brother along with my dad. It is my pleasure to now introduce our top 10 Miss Contestants in Swimsuit. This phase of competition displays how well the contestant maintains a lifestyle of good physical, emotional, and intellectual health. The contestants drive, energy, charisma, and expression are considered. The swimwear is equal to 20% of the contestants' total score. Please welcome contestant number 20, Miss River Raisin Festival, Makisha Alcock. Oakland County, Shyla Klein. Miss Monroe County, Elizabeth M. Wurtenberger. <laughs> Contestant number 16, Miss Lighthouse Coast, Missy Brown. <laughs> Contestant number eight, Miss Spirit of the State, Brooke Bukema.
Well, the Miss Michigan program is proud to say that for the past three years, we have sponsored a little Miss Michigan pageant. This pageant gives young girls the opportunity to compete for a crown and be mentored by our Miss Michigan contestants. On November 22, 2008, Michigan crowned its third Little Miss. Here is Elizabeth Beasy. Am I on? There we go. Wasn't she talented? Now you know why she won Little Miss Michigan. So what exactly are the judges looking for in our Miss Talent competition tonight? They are looking for interpretation, preparation, technical skill, and stage presence. And of course, don't forget, when you watch the performance, you must ask yourself this question, was it entertaining? Talent competition is 30% of the total score. And now for the Miss Michigan Top 10 competition. I think we have a little stall, so I'm going to go. Before I announce our first contestant, I actually want to give some thank yous. I want to thank the technical director. And we would like to offer him our deepest thanks and to all of our volunteers this week. If it wasn't for them, we would not have this phenomenal show. So let's give them a round of applause. We would also like to thank David Loring Video. Order forms for this week's competition are available in the lobby. And let me tell you, he does a phenomenal job and it's such a keepsake for our contestants. So please order these videos because this is something that they will be able to cherish for a lifetime. We would also like to extend a huge thanks to Gamal and his staff at the Holiday Inn. The Holiday Inn is the host hotel for the Miss Michigan program. He puts up all of the Miss contestants free of charge, so thank you so much, Gamal, for what you do for our program. All right. It is now my pleasure to please welcome Miss Contestant number 20, Miss River Raisin Festival, Makisha Alcock.
Now, who are you here supporting tonight? I couldn't hear you. Awesome. And for Doug King, I heard you say everyone. You're awesome. All right. I would also like to send a sincere thank you to the Lions Rotary Exchange and Ambucks Clubs of Muskegon for their continued support over the years. We really, really appreciate all that you do for our contestants. A very sincere thank you. All right. Next we have Miss Contestant number 28, Miss Oakland County, Shyla Klein. I would also like to recognize Doug and Jamie of Chalet Flowers. They have been so supportive towards both the Miss and Teen program, so we would like to express a very big thank you to them. All right, now it is time for Miss Contestant number 10, Miss West Michigan, Kelsey Dufendock. to hear and although I know that he is blind still I say there's a way for us I love him but every day I'm learning all my life I've only been pretending So how about that program book that you all have purchased? We want to thank Karina Young of Graphics Company. Thank you, Karina. The book is fabulous this year. How do you like that nice shiny cover that's on it? Thank you. All right, please put your hands together for Miss Contestant number 17, Miss Wayne County, Nicole Blasick.
found a dream that I could speak to, a dream that I can call my own. I found a thrill to press my cheek to, a thrill. The following restaurants have provided dinners for our judges and we would like to offer them a special thanks. House of Chan, Rackets, Dockers, Furcanos, and the Holiday Inn. Please welcome Miss Contestant number seven, Miss Capital City, Alicia Jaros. It's a new dawn. It's a new day, it's a new life, and I'm feeling good. Birds flying high, you know how I feel, sun in the sky. local executive directors and field directors for all they do getting these girls ready for Miss Michigan. As you can see by our contestants, they do a fabulous job. We truly appreciate you and thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Give them a round of applause. Next we have Miss Contestant number 27, Miss Monroe County, Elizabeth Ann Wurtenberger. Not long ago, he knew me since I was knee-high to a grasshopper, but I evidently didn't give him the right answer because he said to me, Mink, schmink, money, schmoney, think you're hot now, don't you, honey? What have you got if you haven't got love? Silk, schmilk, satin, schmatten, a penthouse high. Enough if you haven't got love. Happiness is not a thing that you can buy. It takes loving, lots of loving from the right guy. Pearls, stones, and English women from Jim or Jack or Joe or Herman. That not enough if you haven't got love. 
I'll take the Jaguar on the right. A huge thank you goes to Torcott CT Gallery. Alan does the pictures every year for our teen and miss, and the portraits that he's done for Carly and myself are absolutely beautiful, and he also did my official Miss America headshots. And Alan, I just want to give you a huge thank you. You're extremely talented, and we couldn't, we couldn't have um, the beautiful pictures that we are able to offer our title holders every year without you. So thank you very, very much. We would also like to thank Mary Ann Herbst, the president of Baker College, for entertaining our sponsors. All right. Let's see here. I think I skipped a card because they gave me so much fill, and our, our people are so efficient back here. All right. Please welcome Miss Contestant number 16, Miss Lighthouse Coast, Missy Brown. We need to thank Larry and Bill of Cray Chic for their continued support to the Teen and Miss programs. And our crew would also like to offer a special thanks to Fricanos for their continued support and generosity throughout the week. All right, please put your hands together for Miss Contestant number eight, Miss Spirit of the State, Brooke Bukema.
thank you to Loring and Threadgill Productions for providing the videotaping of the Miss Antine interviews this week. Thank, thank, ooh. thank you to the Miss America Organization for the Community Service Awards and Academic Scholarship Awards. It is with deep appreciation that we give sincere thanks to Chili's, Red Lobster, Olive Garden, and Hobos for the late night snacks provided to the contestants. And of course, thank you very much to Classic Catering and Events for their spectacular catering for our girls this week. We truly appreciate your support more than you know. And trust me, these girls eat backstage, so don't believe that we only eat salads. They eat fabulous. All right. Our next contestant is Miss Contestant number 23, Miss Blue Lakes, Melissa Cousino. Thank you to Buffalo Wild Wings for the fundraiser day. On Wednesday, Buffalo Wild Wings here in Muskegon donated a percentage of their profits to the Miss Michigan Scholarship Fund. Please know how much we appreciated your generosity. Last but certainly not least, please welcome Miss Contestant number five, Miss Heart of Michigan, Katie LaRush. And it's so much fun when the girls get that energy and they really need it. They're all right behind that wall there. So they're listening and they're watching everything. Now, as many of you know, uh, it, 
this evening is not only the finals for the Miss Michigan pageant, it is also the second annual joke off. And I cannot thank all of the people that have been slipping jokes under my door. It's just a little scary to know how many people know where my room is in the hotel. <laughs> So I prefer them in the hospitality room, but hey, we're thrilled about all the jokes. We'll be crowning that winner tonight also. Now, would the former Miss Michigans please meet in the green room during intermission? There's something special we want to talk to you about. And also Sam Haskell's book. There's several books. You can still purchase them in the lobby, right, Shelly? Yeah. Thank you. Wow, Shelly, your voice. So manly. Does it come with the hair on the chest, too? <laughs> oh, she knows I'm just a kidder. Now, just to get you in the spirit of things, last year's winner brought the house down. This was the joke that started the first annual joke off. Three women, two younger and one a senior, were sitting naked in a sauna. Suddenly, there was a beeping sound. Now, the first young woman pressed her forearm, and the beeping stopped. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a microchip in my arm. It's just a pager. A few minutes later, a phone rang. The second young woman lifted her palm to her ear. Oh, I'm sorry. I have a microchip in my hand. It's my cell phone. Well, the older woman, feeling very low-tech and not wanting to be outdone, decided she had to do something just as impressive. She walked into the sauna, into the bathroom, returning with a piece of toilet paper hanging from her rear end. The others raised their eyebrows and went, she said, oh, well, you're looky here, I'm receiving a fax. <laughs> oh, I gotta catch that one. Oh. It's good to have the mini with that joke, isn't it? All right, I just love that joke. I wish I would have written that joke. Anyway, we will see you all back here in 15 minutes. So I'm going to tell you, you need to be back here in seven and a half minutes, and then you'll probably be back in about 15. All right, get out of here. Buy a Sam Haskell book. We'll see you in 15. Gina Vallo. Miss Michigan 2007, Kirsten Hagland. <laughs> Miss Michigan 2006, Angela Corsi Leon. <laughs> Nellie Taliska. <laughs> Miss Michigan 2003, Madonna Edmund Latticer. Miss Michigan 2001, Stacy Essebaggers Shepherd. <laughs> Miss Michigan 1998, Laura Welling Abney. <laughs> At our judges' table, Miss Michigan 1995, Connie Lynn Hull Sullivan. <laughs> Miss Michigan 1987, Kaylani Ray Rafko Wilson. Miss Michigan, 1986, Kelly Garver Nito. <laughs> and Miss Michigan, 1984, Barbara Jean. <laughs> Let's have a nice round for them, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, for being here and for your continued support to the Miss Michigan program. It is truly an honor to have you with us here tonight. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to our stage a former Miss Michigan contestant and Miss Iosco County 1985, Mary Elizabeth Allen.
Ladies and gentlemen, your Miss Michigan, Ashley Barrassy. And another round of applause for Mary Elizabeth and Ashley Barrissey. And as you've noticed in the last three nights, you've been hearing this beautiful music throughout evening wear and swimsuit. Uh, that was all the original compositions of Mary Elizabeth. So she is an incredibly talented musician. And she's also a former contestant. In fact, Julie Stevens, who is an amazing singer who sang God Bless America, makes me cry every year. Julie and Mary Elizabeth and I all competed together in 1986. We should have formed a band. Darn! But Mary Elizabeth is such an accomplished musician. We got together a couple weeks ago, and her and I are actually in the middle of writing a couple of musical projects ourselves, so we're real excited about it. We'll tell you about it next year. All right. Right now is the first of the top three jokes. Are you ready? Two ladies talking in heaven. First woman, hi, Wanda. Oh, hi, Sylvia. How'd you die? I froze to death. Oh, how horrible. It wasn't so bad. After I quit shaking from the cold, I began to get warm and sleepy and finally died a peaceful death. What about you? Oh. I died of a massive heart attack. I suspected that my husband was cheating on me, so I came home to catch him. Instead, I found him all by himself in the den watching TV. So what happened? Well, I was so convinced, I started running all over the house looking. I ran in the attic, and I searched in the basement, and every bedroom. I went through the entire, every closet, and checked under all the beds. I kept this up. I was frantic looking everywhere, and I finally died of exhaustion and a massive heart attack. The first woman says, Ooh, too bad you didn't look in the freezer. We'd both still be alive. <laughs> Never saw it coming, did you? <laughs> All right, now, 
I suspect the little, the little laughter I heard when I started is the person who sent this joke, so you better fess up, because it's an anonymous joke donor. Oh my goodness, that's a good one. All right, it's now time for Miss Michigan Top 10 Evening Wear Competition. Remember, this competition, again, Mary Elizabeth, is worth 20% of the score tonight. Please welcome contestant number 20, Miss what? River Raisin Festival, Makisha Alcock. Contestant number 28, Miss Oakland County, Shyla Klein. Contestant number 10, Miss West Michigan, Kelsey Dufendorf. Contestant number 17, Miss Wayne County, Nicole Blazik. Contestant number seven, Miss Capital City, Alicia Jaros. Contestant number 27, Miss Monroe County, Elizabeth Ann Wurtenberg.
Contestant number 16, Miss Lighthouse Coast, Missy Brown. Contestant number eight, Miss Spirit of the State, Brooke Bukema. Contestant number 23, Miss Blue Lakes, Melissa Cousineau. Contestant number five, Miss Heart of Michigan, Katie LaRoche. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to present the very first award of the evening. The winner of a $500 scholarship, sponsored by Mr. and Mrs. Michael Olthoff. Here is, and won't you please welcome her warmly, your non-finalist talent winner for 2009. Here she is, contestant number six, Miss Shoreline, Amber Rose Haywood.
what a voice. We will be seeing her back again. Wow. Mm. All right, it's now time to introduce the judges in extremely classy form tonight. What, you don't think I can do that? I'll show you. No, serious. Gail is the owner of our first judge, is the owner of her own advertising and consulting firm in Savannah, Georgia. She is a graduate of the University of South Carolina with a degree in chemistry. A former Miss Georgia, that's why you're so gorgeous, see how nice I can be? <laughs> has worked in television broadcasting and has appeared in hundreds of commercials and that's why I recognize you. She has trained extensively in dance and was named Outstanding Young Woman of America in 1995. She has judged and emceed over 30 Miss America state pageants and helped select Miss America 1980, one of my favorites, Cheryl Pruitt. Ladies and gentlemen, Gail Odom. I think I deserve a 10 for that. Nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, that was great. See, I'm a, a very kind Christian woman. I actually just became a Christian like 10 years ago. Yes, I found Jesus. I did. Thank you. He was behind my couch the entire time. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, what are you doing here? Is that the father on my barca lounger? Okay. Our second judge. Excuse me? You're scared of the lightning? Oh, he... Hey man, he's the one who built me this way. It's not my fault. So I keep saying, why, Father, why? <laughs> All right, our next judge is Vernon DeSeer. Vernon resides in Bradenton, Florida, and is Vice President of Marketing and Business for the Manatee Healthcare System. Can you help me market my t-shirts? We'll talk later. He is a former Vice President of, this, of the Miss Florida pageant. He has entertained with the USO, toured with many theatrical groups, and currently hosts Healthcare Today with METV Channel 21. I didn't know that, that's so cool. I've always wanted a job like that, but no one hired me. Vernon has judged over 40 Miss America, I'm serious, so if anyone out there is in television, I'm still waiting for my call. Vernon has judged over 40 Miss America state pageants and is a two-time member, a two-time member, don't you like, of the National Panel of Judges for Miss America. Um, and Vernon, you and I go way back. Vernon got his start in the MAO by being Burt Parks' toupee handler. That was a little side note. Ladies and gentlemen, Vernon DeSeer. <laughs> Vernon, it's great when jokes work like that because like half the audience goes, he knows Burt Parks. <laughs> All right, Connie Hall Sullivan is our next judge and she's wearing beautiful pearls tonight. Very classy. Yes, Connie resides in Jenison, Michigan and was Miss Michigan 1995. She used her scholarship money. Uh, sorry. She earned to graduate with honors from Michigan State University. You were right there, yeah. And Wayne State University Law School. She worked three years as a presidential management intern in Washington, D.C., no kidding, before returning to Michigan. She is currently the Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources and Legal Services for Kent Intermediate District, as well as Adjunct Professor for Grand Valley State University. I did not know that. Man, see these, these Miss Contestants, dang. Ah. She enjoys spending time with her husband, John, and two children, Jack and Anna. Ladies and gentlemen, Connie Hall Sullivan. Yes, and I've known Connie for years. I was emceeing when she won, and I will never forget, she was the first Miss Michigan to ever speak out against world peace. <laughs> she said, Newcomb! She's also teaching an anger management class now, too, so, yeah. Our next judge, what a sweetheart, handsome man, 
Robert found an opportunity through his experience to develop Star Ticket Plus, a superior ticket service company. No kidding. I got to talk to all of you guys after. He uh, formed a special events department at Calvin College during his eight years of working in administration and finance. Robert has been in entertainment related professional. Oh, I'm sorry. He has been, see, there goes my television gig. He has been an entertainment related professional agency since 1987. He resides in Las Vegas and Grand Rapids, he can't make up his mind, where he works closely with Talent Buyers Network and the Native American casino industry, providing talent to casinos across the United States. No kidding! <laughs> I am a class act. You should see my show. <laughs> in fact, did you know Robert and I have known each other since the 80s? Um, we were both in the Miss America pageant together. I was Miss Michigan. He was Miss Maine. <laughs> and I, Robert, I'm telling you, that is by far the most successful sex change I have ever seen. <laughs> You are now the main man. <laughs> Wouldn't I be a great Vegas act? No, no. Okay. None of them are going to be in the hospitality room, are they? Oh, gosh! <laughs> See, I blew my audition. Dang. <laughs> Robert Struck. What a good sport you are. And of course, last but not least, Susan E.B. Susan comes to us from St. Louis, Missouri, where she is the Director of Building and Environmental Operations at the St. Louis Art Museum. A former television broadcaster, she received a Master's of Public Administration from Boise State University. Susan has judged over 60 national and state pageants for the Miss America organization and helped select Miss America 1993 Leanza Cornett. She has been the Executive Director for the Miss Idaho pageant. Oh, it's so good, I didn't do that Idaho joke. I'm so glad I did not know that. God was looking over my shoulder. Uh, and has been a contestant, MC, judge, and traveling companion at the Miss America pageant. Susan Eby, ladies and gentlemen. And Susan actually uh, has known, um, um, I've known you for many years. Susan was Kaylani Ray Rafko's first hula skirt fluffer as Miss America. Unfortunately, one uh, uh, event, she got way too close and took a hula hip to the eye. And the glass eye looks totally real. It's, it's wonderful. Who writes this stuff? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for the very quick joke off. And our judges will help us decide. You heard the first. Here is the second. A blonde, a brunette, and a redhead. That's why we picked it, because no jokes usually have redheads in them. We're stuck on an island. One day, the three of them were walking along the beach and discovered a magic lamp. They rubbed and rubbed and rubbed, and sure enough, a genie pops out and says, since I'm the only, oh, since I can only grant you three witches, wi wi wishes, you may each have one. The brunette says, I've been stuck here for years. I miss my family and my husband and my life. I just want to go home. Poof. And she's home. Then the redhead says, I've been stuck here for years too, and I miss my husband and my family and my life. I just want to go home. Poof. And she goes home. The blonde starts crying uncontrollably. The genie says, my dear, what's the matter? The blonde whimpers, I wish my friends were here with me. <laughs> Thank you, Dean. Is it Dean Haas? Haas? Dean Haas. All right. And the third joke, again, an anonymous donor, and you know who you are. There are only three religious truths. Jews do not recognize Jesus as the Messiah. Protestants do not recognize the Pope as a leader of the Christian faith. And Baptists do not recognize each other in the liquor store or at Hooters. <laughs> My dear, 
At the end of the show, please come up to be awarded with the pimp hat of the joke off on Saturday night to these stairs. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for sending in all those wonderful jokes. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to introduce to you once again our Miss Michigan Ashley Barrissey to perform for you. Ashley made Michigan so proud in Las Vegas, like my son Dominic said yesterday, you were awesome, Ashley. You were totally his pick. She finished in the top 10 and being awarded first runner-up to the Quality of Life Award. We are so proud of this young woman. Sit back and enjoy our very own Miss Michigan, Ashley Barrissey. This is indeed a very special moment for you, our great audience tonight. Our very own Miss Michigan, Ashley Barrissey would very much like to entertain you tonight with a talent performance which helped her become Miss Michigan. She dances the story of her mother's survivorship and her platform of breast cancer awareness. With her new job as coordinator of the Susan G. Komen Detroit Race for the Cure, Ashley will continue as she does for you now, her run for life. It's been years since they told her about it The darkness her body possessed And the scars are still there in the mirror Every day that she gets herself dressed Though the pain is miles and miles behind her And the fear is now a docile beast if you ask her why she is still running She'll tell you it makes her complete I run for hope I run to fear I run for the truth For all that is real I run for your mother Your sister Your wife I run for you Someday if they tell you about it If the darkness knocks on your door Remember her, remember me We will be running as we have before Running for answers, running for love Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Michigan 2008, Ashley Barrassey. Please welcome back our MC, Kelly Garvernito. Oh. When a young wo woman like that faces a crisis in her life and she takes it on like Ashley does, she can change the world, don't you think? Before we proceed with the naming of our top five Miss contestants, we want to recognize our non-finalist interview award winner. The winner of a $250 scholarship sponsored by the Kirsten Haglin Eating Disorder Foundation goes to contestant number 18, Lake Huron Shores, Teresa Crawley. All right, ladies, 
anything to get you to giggle. It's so nerve-wracking up here, isn't it? All right, that's my job, to keep them laughing so they don't think about all the stress. The five contestants moving on. Good luck. Contestant number 23, Miss Blue Lake. <laughs> Contestant number five, Miss Heart of Michigan. <laughs> Contestant number seventeen, Miss Wayne. Contestant number 27, Miss Monroe County. <laughs> Contestant number seven. Thank you, ladies. Are you ready? And ladies, you can be dismissed. Not you five. <laughs> you five have to stay with me. All right. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, ladies, right now, I just want to let you know, our contestants are not being judged. And the questions that they're going to put their hand in the fishbowl are rather difficult. And I at first said, are you kidding? They're not being judged. Give them a break. But you know what? The judges had a very good point. When asked, they said, any one of the top 10 could answer any of those questions incredibly well. So give them that opportunity and also practice to become Miss America. So we're not going to give you a break, but we can still have fun. All right. So Melissa, you are first. And you know, I was thinking, you girls, we were backstage and um, my, my friend Jackie says to me, you know, the girls could have saved a lot in time and money. They could have just bought a crown on eBay, but it doesn't work that way. <laughs> said, no, that takes all the fun out of it, right? Okay, come on over here, Melissa. Oh, sorry, yes, you, you might need the microphone. Okay, and I'll make a trade. Your question is, what are your feelings about the repeat passing of the stimulus package and its effect on your generation? Well, I think it's too soon to know exactly the impact the stimulus package is going to have, but the, where we are economically, we need to invest in our country for us to come out of this. They already are saying 150,000 jobs have been saved by the stimulus package, and another 600,000 jobs will be created just this summer through public works. So I think it's a great idea, and hopefully it will continue to bring good things for our generation. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Melissa Cousineau. All right, Miss Heart of Michigan, come on over here, Katie. Yeah. Oh, you pick. No, I'll pick for you. No, you pick. You pick. See, it's not easy opening, is it? No. It's like a little fortune cookie. Help, I'm being trapped in a Chinese bakery. I'm just trying to get them to lighten up, you know. Do you believe the standards of education in the United States are preparing us to compete in a global economy? Why or why not? No, they're not. They're definitely not. Um, my platform actually is, is about the awareness of poverty, not only in our nation, but around the world. And I speak to kids throughout the state of Michigan um, very frequently. And the things that they don't know, such as kids in the world don't have toys, 
kids in the world don't have food. They have no idea that that's out there. And, and that's not okay and that's not right. So we need to educate our kids about what's going on beyond our borders here in the United States. Thank you. Thank you. Katie LaRose. Oh wait, Katie. Katie. Katie's pulling a Kelly. Yeah. <laughs> Here's this. Thank you. You know that part about being yourself? Okay. Or, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, Nicole, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. It's Wayne County. But you knew that, right? I did. Okay. They might not have. They, okay. All right. Here's your question. You want me to read it? No. Oh. I'll read it to you if you want. I wanted to see if she was going to read it. <laughs> Except for the economy, what internal... See, now, if this was being judged, I would not do this. just want you to know that. Except for the economy, what internal situation poses the biggest threat to the well-being of the United States? I'd have to say, first and foremost, it would be the mentors that our children are growing up with. Nowadays, the media has a huge influence on what our children see on TV. Most often, children are left home alone, or they're left in front of a television or a radio, and that's the most awful influence they can have. They need parent interaction, and they need those strong influences to direct them away from what they're seeing in the media. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Thank you. Nicole Blassett. All right, Miss Monroe County, go that is ahead and pick. I hope this is a good one. Okay, well, we'll just throw it back if you don't like it. Oh, she said it. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> okay, 18 to, oh, you'll love this one. This is good. 18 to 24-year-olds are the lowest percent of voters. What can we do to increase the number of young people voting? Well, you know what, I definitely think, um, I don't really agree with that. Um, when I, I go to Kendall College of Art and Design in Grand Rapids, and I'm not kidding you, we, we had rallies, everyone was so politically involved this year, it totally took my breath away. Because I remember, I was in second grade, and I remember I was going around telling all my friends who they should vote for. And I was so politically involved at a young age and I always kind of felt out of place by that because no one else at my age really cared who the president was. So this year, this was the first time that I could vote and I was really blown away by seeing my peers be so involved with this election. So, proud to be Americans. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Monroe County, Elizabeth. And next, Last but certainly not least. That's right. Okay, Alicia. Oh, I have to pick a question. pick one of those. There's only three. There's three left. Not that one. <laughs> Who said that? Yes, huh? <laughs> Trying to take my job over. All right. Shh, for heaven's sakes. Okay, it's a hard one. It's a tough one. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Maybe that's not a good sign. It's a good thing I played the fiddle and didn't do ballet or anything. <laughs> Studies show elderly people are generally happier than young people. Look at me. <laughs> Why do you think this is true? I think it's true because when you grow older, you grow wiser. You learn from your past mistakes and you learn from them. You take what you did wrong and you in turn make them right you do the right decisions and i think by making right decisions and learning from your mistakes in older age as you grow older you will become a lot happier absolutely thank you. all right this capital city thank you very much ladies and gentlemen another big round of applause you've made it this far take a deep breath this is where the fun begins Oh, I'm falling apart. Well, last night we crowned a new Miss Michigan Outstanding Teen. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Haley Williams, Miss Michigan's Outstanding Teen 2009, sorry, to perform her winning talent. <laughs> Shout out from the mountain tops. A star is born. It's a time for pulling out the stops. A star is born. Honey, it is with a highlight now. A kid can shine through the sing the song. I know you're born. A star is born. A star is born. He's a hero who can please the crowd. A star is born. Come on, everybody, shout out loud. A star is born.
One more time, let's congratulate Haley Williams, Miss Michigan's Outstanding Team for 2009. And now, it's that time. It's time to say farewell to our 2008 Miss Michigan, Ashley Barrissey. dreams that brought me to that moment, but it was that very moment that has allowed me to live my dream. I can't begin to express the emotions and thoughts that raced throughout my body when my name was called as Miss Michigan 2008. Little did I know at that very moment how life-changing this year would come to be. There are truly no words to describe what the Miss America organization has done for me. I will never forget walking into my first local pageant feeling like a fish out of water. Who knew that three years later I would have the distinct honor to step foot onto the Miss America stage representing our great state of Michigan. I must thank all of my local directors, Laura Blumensat, Kathy Fitch, and Sheila Segro for their support and guidance that helped pave my way to success. I hope that my journey and perseverance can teach others to take risks, step out of their personal box, and most of all, always believe in their dreams. Since my crowning moment, my life has been forever changed. Some of my fondest memories will be visiting the patients at all four Children's Miracle Network hospitals in Michigan, taping a reality TV show in Los Angeles, appearing on the Ellen DeGeneres Show, attending the Academy of Country Music Awards, and being named a top 10 finalist in the 2009 Miss America pageant. Furthermore, I have been most grateful for how the crown has become a megaphone for my voice. As an advocate for breast cancer awareness, the title of Miss Michigan has allowed me to partner with Diet Right and Fiji Water to raise over $10,000 for the American Cancer Society making strides against breast cancer. It has also allowed me to promote my online support network, bcdaughters.com. It was a distinct honor to be named first runner-up to the Miss America Quality of Life Award. Nothing compares to being recognized for your devotion to service, because to me, success should not be defined by accolades. It should be defined by your depth of service. Nonetheless, my passions, values, and character would not be what they are today without the love and support of my parents. It has been such a privilege sharing this opportunity with them. They sculpted me into the woman I am today, and for that, I will forever be appreciative. Mom and Dad, I truly love you with all my heart. It is my parents' guidance that has brought me to this point, and it is Shelley Taylor who has made this year one I will never forget. We are fortunate to have such an exceptional state executive director, and I am even more blessed to call her my friend. As a young woman who has been without grandparents since the age of nine, Shelly, you have truly filled a void in my heart that I will never be able to repay you for. I love you. Brandon, aka Mr. Michigan, how did I get so lucky to find you? I know that it hasn't always been easy being in the shadows of pageantry. Your patience, love, and support have meant more to me than you will ever know. I am proud to call you mine, and I look forward to this new chapter in our lives called Our Future. To my mentor, friend, and lifelong dance teacher, Miss Jen, you gave me the tools to let my passion flourish into talent. Without you, I would not be the dancer I am today. Thank you. To my family and friends that have always believed in me, I wish I could list you all by name, but the list is so long. 
You all know what it is like sitting in the audience anticipating the announcement of Miss Michigan. You each know who you are, so I will spare this year's audience by thanking you all together for your ongoing support. I will never forget stepping foot onto the Miss America stage to see the sea of Ashley signs followed by an eruption of cheers and chants. It was emotionally beyond words and it is a memory I will cherish forever. A huge thank you goes to all of our incredible sponsors. I would also like to give a special congratulations to our new Miss Michigan's Outstanding Team as well as Carly Rowley for her successful reign. I would be in error not to recognize the Miss Michigan Class of 2008. What an honor it has been to represent such a high caliber of young women. To my Miss America 2009 sisters, I couldn't have handpicked a better group of young women to share this experience with. I would like to wish Katie Stam my best as she finishes her year of service as Miss America. Also, a sincere thank you to my judges for giving me this opportunity, and a special thanks to Pam Aldred, Kaylani, and Kirsten for their continuous words of encouragement this past year. You ladies made me feel like a Miss America. To the Miss Michigan Board of Directors, thank you for all your support and help in my Miss America preparations. Your hard work and dedication to this program does not go unnoticed. To my extended family, the Smiths, you have opened your heart and home to me and I will forever cherish the memories we share. I couldn't have asked for a better home away from home. Thank you. I want to wish the best of luck to all this year's contestants. You have been blessed with an incredible opportunity to share your intellect, talent, and service with others. We all come from different walks of life and it is only a matter of opinions that form one outcome on one night. My parents always instilled in me to try to be my personal best, not another contestant. Knowing that only one young woman will be crowned tonight, yet keeping in mind you are your only competitor, will allow you to personally grow and find happiness in others' success. To Miss Michigan 2009, as you embark upon a journey of a lifetime, remember to always stay true to yourself. Don't ever take a single day for granted because the year truly flies by. Last but certainly not least, thank you to everyone who has had faith in me. I will always remain humbled and honored to be your Miss Michigan 2008. for is here who will be our new Miss Michigan for 2009 and represent Michigan at the 2010 Miss America pageant and perhaps bring home the Miss America crown. Welcome back to our stage, all 28 of tonight's contestants. Thank you. 
Well, we have one more opportunity to offer another warm greeting for our MC, Kelly Garvernito. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the time you have been waiting for. But first, I would like to thank uh, Riemann CPAs, business consultants, and financial advisors. Now that they're done tabulating the store scores, uh, Gregory Lepre and Stacy Seawick. Before we announce our new Miss Michigan 2009, we have some very important scholarships to award. Our first two awards of the night are from the Miss America Organization, a $1,000 State Community Service Award sponsored by the Miss America Organization goes to contestant number 26, Miss Southwest Michigan, Megan Goodenough. And a $1,000 State Academic Scholarship Award sponsored by the Miss America Organization goes to contestant number 11, Miss Auburn Midland, Cameron Lehman. Lehman. And the auditors are ready with the ballots. Do I hear $1,000? $1,500? I'm thinking scholarship funds, Shelley. We could auction this off. Someone could come up here and read this for $1,000. That would be well worth us, wouldn't it? That's a good idea. We gotta talk. We have reached the final and a most important and most exciting moment for our finalists. First, the Kaylani Ray Rafko $500 Community Service Award sponsored by an anonymous donor goes to contestant number five, Miss Heart of Michigan, Kay LaRoche. And the Stacey Essebager Shepherd Educational Award of $1,000, sponsored by Stacey Essebager Shepherd, goes to contestant number 26, Miss Southwest Michigan, Megan Goodenough. The $500 Miss Congeniality Award given in memory of Justin and Twyla Smangi, sponsored by Dick and Bonnie Forrester, goes to contestant number five, Miss Heart of Michigan, Katie LaRose. And now the CMN Children's Miracle Worker Award. Contestant number six, Miss Shoreline, Amber Rose Hayward. And the People's Choice Award goes to contestant number four, Miss Allegan County, Carly Arts. All right, ladies, with the top five finalists, please join me. With the executive directors and the parents of the top four and the new Miss Michigan, please come to the archway on the left side of the main floor right here to be escorted backstage for photos. Ah, please don't go over there. Too much technical stuff. Please come here. All right, ladies. Are you ready? The fourth runner-up and winner of a $2,000 scholarship is Miss Blue Lakes, Melissa Cousino. Third runner-up and winner of a $3,000 scholarship Miss Monroe County, Elizabeth Wurtenberger. <laughs> Second runner up and winner of a $4,000 scholarship is Miss Capital City, Alisa Gross. <laughs> Good 
luck, ladies. Okay. Our first runner-up will receive a $5,000 scholarship. And our new Miss Michigan 2009 will receive a scholarship of $10,000. Our first runner-up is Miss Heart of Michigan, Katie LaRoche. Our new Miss Michigan is... 